Have you ever wondered how our world manages to make sense of so much information? From the number of stars in the sky to the kind of ice cream flavors most people prefer, there's a lot to take in. The secret lies in a cool subject called statistics, and today we're going to dive into a vital part of it, data types. Imagine you're a detective. Your main job is to collect clues, right? In the world of statistics, these clues are called data. These pieces of information help us solve mysteries, answer questions, and uncover patterns. But here's the thing, not all data are the same. They come in different types, each with its unique way of helping us understand the world. The two main types we'll talk about today are quantitative and qualitative data. First up, quantitative data. Think of this as anything you can count or measure. It's like the number of apples in a basket, the height of a building, or how fast a car can go. All these things can be counted or measured, and therefore, they give us quantitative data. They usually come in numbers and can be divided into two groups, discrete and continuous. Discrete data are things you can count, like the number of books on a shelf. Continuous data, on the other hand, are things you can measure, like the temperature outside. Now, on to qualitative data. This type of data is all about descriptions, it's like the color of your favorite shirt, the taste of a delicious meal, or the sound of your favorite song. These things can't be counted or measured in the traditional sense, but they still give us valuable information. Qualitative data help us understand the qualities or characteristics of something, hence the name. So, to sum it up, quantitative data are all about numbers and measurements, while qualitative data are all about descriptions and qualities. Remember, both types of data are essential in statistics. They each play a unique role in helping us make sense of the world around us, and they often work together to give us a complete picture. So the next time you count the number of cookies in a jar or describe the taste of a new candy, remember, you're not just having fun, you're handling data, and you're a part of the fascinating world of statistics. That's it for today, detective. Keep your curiosity alive and your detective hat on. Stay tuned for more exciting adventures in the world of statistics.